The Panama Papers are the single biggest leak of information in history. We're talking here 11.5 million confidential documents, 200,000 offshore companies and terabytes of data for which hundreds of journalists are looking at, over 100 media organizations, 76 countries, and a lot of investigations are starting over this. There's a lot of people that are being named. Oddly enough, not that many from the United uh, States. Actually, no one from the United States yet. And that's probably because of the Cayman Islands, the people from the United States going to the Cayman Islands. There's gonna be... Uh, there's going to be probes, there's going to be investigations, and it does implicate a good number of political uh, figures in this. Now, although Vladimir Putin is the one that the mainstream media has gone with as, you know, the face, because several of his friends are here, in reality, Putin is not named in the Panama Papers, at least from what we know so far. Uh, his friends are. But that's not surprising, given that the vast majority of political figures in Eastern Europe, all of them, really, I'd be surprised if there was any major political figure, figure in Eastern Europe that was not corrupt in some way or another, uh, including Putin, just for a record. But I don't think you'll find anything on Putin here, because he's probably smarter than to have his name here. And also, although Putin has worked with a number of corrupt politicians, the extent of his personal tax evasion, his personal stealing and all that, is unclear. It's difficult to say. In terms of actual head of, heads of state that are named in the Panama Papers, you've got the President of Argentina, the King of Saudi Arabia, the President of the United Arab Emirates, and Petro Poroshenko, the President of Ukraine. There's also the former Emir of Qatar, the former President of Sudan, the Prime Minister of Iceland, uh, and then several former Prime Ministers of Georgia, Iraq, Jordan, Qatar, Ukraine, Moldova. And then there's various political figures, like for instance, and you know, just figures, family members, friends of political figures, like David Cameron's father, just as an example uh, to give there. I'm surprised there's no Romanian figure, but that's probably just for now. So how big is this? Well, biggest leak, a lot of people are gonna fall, and Poroshenko in particular, you know, Saudi Arabia being on this, given the situation, the king of Saudi Arabia being on this, that's not a big deal for him. That's probably not gonna impact him. Not sure about the United Arab Emirates though, or Argentina. Poroshenko, however, you know, I'm not certain about that because I don't bother too much with um, Argentina. And with Saudi Arabia, I say that it's not going to affect them too much. You know, the internal politicking of Saudi Arabia and the royal family, it's difficult to gouge how this will affect them. But with Poroshenko in Ukraine, given that he was recently going for, uh, going against offshore accounts, when he has one with the... Uh, with Panama, you know, the Panama Papers. This is not just tax evasion, this is tax avoidance, this is um, offshore accounts, reported and unreported ones. It comes down to ta tax, uh, you know, tax evasion to one extent or another, but it's also people moving money out of their country, which is, you know, a problem as well for a good number of countries. So you have a lot of people being named here. You have mayors, you have ministers, former ministers, prime ministers, uh, members of various parliaments, the House of Con Commons, for instance, the House of Lords in the UK. Uh, you have you have various like uh, aides to presidents, friends, wives, etc. You have a lot of people being named here, a lot of people. But for Poroshenko in particular, because he is president and because of the situation in Ukraine, he's probably not going to fare very well because of this. Actually. No one's gonna fare very well, you know, no one's that's named here is gonna fare very well in this because a lot of people, they're gonna look at this, they won't care about what they have actually done based on the papers, they'll look at the, look at them and see that they were named in the papers. You know, there are people who probably didn't do anything, there may be, you know, people that are not implicated in scandals. Poroshenko though, the Ukrainian president and an oligarch controlling various countries, uh, companies in this country, important companies, 
not committing tax evasion. <laughs> Considering the state of Eastern Europe, I'd be amazed if that's not the case. And it's gonna hurt them a lot politically. There's a lot of bitter disputes at the moment in Ukraine. Uh, here and there's been people who have called for his impeachment and surprised that the president of Argentina was here incidentally there's also the brother-in-law of Xi Jinping, Jinping. Uh, there's various people from China you know party members important one party members or people linked to party members there's the son of Hosni Mubarak the former president of um, of Egypt, there is a business associate of Marine Le Pen. There's a law partner of Sarkozy. There's an accounting associate of Marine Le Pen. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, you know I'm looking at the wiki here. There's a huge number of people, right? So you know if you're interested about your country, I recommend you check this out. Like you know the nephew of the president of South Africa, the son of the former Secretary General of the United Nations. Uh, oh boy. The former wife of Prince Andrew of the United Kingdom. <laughs> then there's, uh, you know, sport personalities, entertainment personalities, business people, uh, non-governmental organization. Now that's actually amusing. Like, uh, the head of Global Corruption Watchdog Transparency International in Chile is actually on this list as well. He did uh, resign over this. <laughs> and then there's various drug traffickers uh, and criminals that are named as well. So quite a very extensive list and it's not completed yet. Uh, there's, in Israel, there's the Minister of Construction, the current Minister of Construction. Um, yeah. Oh boy, that this is very, very interesting. It's powder keg. We'll see how it all develops. I wouldn't expect any reactions in the short term. I wouldn't expect anything to really happen. I mean, yeah, the Prime Minister of Iceland uh, resigned or announced a temporary leave of office, uh, from what I understand. But it's going to take a while for people to digest this, for the media, for the media organizations to go through this, for the reporters, the journalists to go through this, to investigate, to figure out what's what what exactly they've done and so on and so forth. But it's a major leak. It's going to have serious consequences. It's going to have a serious impact in several weeks, months, as these things have been digested. For now, it's making headlines, but we'll see how long that lasts. Costin here on Serious Gaming, signing out.